everybody. Hope you're having a great day. I'm here today to show you how to download and get your PlayStation Remote Play to work. I know some people are ha having uh, problems getting your PlayStation to work after this new update that came out last week. They included the PS5, so they um, had a new PlayStation Remote Play. So I got I had this problem too. You try to log in, and then it says an error has occurred, and that's it. Or what to do if you get the problem. So you go up to here, Remote Play. Click on this one if you're Windows. You do this one if you're Apple. So I will click this, and it give, kind of gives you some information about it. You have to agree, and then I need Windows, so I'm going to download Windows. Click to save. Now I've already fixed this problem. It might not happen to me, but I'll at least show you where, if it does happen, where it's going to be and what to do if you do get that error message. There, download it. Yes. You want to allow, of course you do. Okay, I'm in English, I'm in the United States, so I'll click OK. And then download it. And it might ask you too where you want to put it. I would put it where it says to put it because sometimes if you move it to another file, things don't work correctly. So whatever path they have, just leave it and hit OK if the path comes up. Yeah, see like right here, do you want to change this? Notice the time, do not change the destination folder because sometimes it'll screw up. The program won't work correctly if you actually change the path. So just hit next. Click install to begin the installation. And it's a quick installation. It doesn't take long. Launch. And yours might take longer than mine. Like I said, I already installed this. I had it working already. I know when I first installed it, it took a lot longer because it updated uh, Microsoft C++. So yours might take a little bit longer than mine. I think it still took less than 10 minutes the first time I did it. And it might ask you to restart your computer as well. If it does ask you to restart your computer, go ahead and restart it. So this is where the problem becomes. You uh, sign in, and then when you try to sign in, you put your information in. So you might, it's not gonna work for me because I already went through this process. So what happens is you sign in, you put your username and password in, and then when you hit OK, a thing will pop up and say error has occurred. And that's it, there's nothing else you can do about it. But what do you need to do if that error occur comes up, go up online and go to PlayStation and sign into your account. So go up and sign in your account and this is what made it work for me is signing into my account so you put your username in put your password in and if you have two-step verification go ahead and put your thing in okay and then you're signed in and it might ask you it seems like it asked me a question um, before when I came in, first came in. But as long as you sign in, this should get rid of that error you're having. So you sign in your account there and then you go back to the thing. And go ahead and um, click out of this. Sign back in. Once again, it's not going to work for me because I already did it. So once you go up and sign in on online, stay signed in online, come back, close out the remote play, pull the remote play back up, it should bring you back to the sign in login. Go ahead, put your password, username in. It might bring you back to the sign-in page again. Well, if it does that, just click at, click the X up here and then reopen Remote Play again and this screen should come up for you. And then, of course, you click on PS4. And then you can link it manually or you can do it like you automatically by using, you know, hitting the option button on your controller. So you can do it either way. I think the problem is there's some reason why you have to sign in online before it'll work. It just that's what fixed it for me. If you have any other concerns, comments, or problems, leave them down in the comment section below. If you like the video, hit that like button. Until next time, I will see ya.
get your merchandise today.